So this build, it started off being something completely different, as I set out to base a build around a certain weapon, and that kind of failed, failed badly actually. But in learning from what can and can't be done, today I bring you this amazing, insane, incendiary build, and I'm calling it the Scorpion. How's it going guys, my name is DPG and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Okay, so this build was me originally setting out to show a little love to COV weapons. The one in which this was going to be built around was a more powerful pain, an assault rifle which if you kept shooting, eventually set you on fire. I was thinking this paired with the benefits of the seeing dead class mod, an elemental projector artifact, and other means of regenerating health and shields could result in something quite brutal. So I built around this using everything Zayn offered in terms of skill tree perks like stiff upper lip, rise to the occasion, really expensive jacket, futility belt and salvation. This I thought meant for sure would be enough damage resistance and basically defences to create an ultimate incendiary build around. How wrong was I? I tested this for hours to figure out what was leading me to die literally seconds after starting shooting at enemies. It actually got to a point where it wasn't making sense. But I figured it out. What was actually going on was, using the more power is pain with the scene the class mod meant that shooting and setting yourself on fire actually triggered the class mod's perks allowing your kill skills to come into play, even when shooting at the wall not shooting at enemies. But if you continue firing, nothing else really happens. Now if you were to do this amongst the battle of enemies, what we see happen is you obviously setting yourself on fire, this we know activates kill skills, so it is affecting you, but with the elemental projector applying 90% additional damage while suffering the same effect, this also affects yourself when shooting at enemies, meaning you do 90% additional damage to yourself. Now this is because of the artifact obviously, but without the artifact the more power is pain is pretty whack. Taking off the scene the class mod isn't really an option as it just erases n about 80% of the damage we know a decent scene the class mod build is capable of. I've tried looking for an elemental projector with incendiary resistance on, but I truly don't think it will make much of a difference as you are killing yourself so quick it's unreal. And guys that's where I originally failed with this build, a setup I was hoping would be great. But all is not lost, I have since taken the founding elements of that build and made them somewhat better to bring you guys this amazing Incendero Zayn build, the Scorpion. It was going to be called the Human Torch, setting yourself on fire, murking enemies, but yeah, that didn't go to plan. Now being realistic, looking through Zayn's skill trees, he doesn't really have anything in reality which would directly buff Incendero. So this build is more about the shield, artifact and weapons, paired with an effective build which allows you to light shit ablaze. So firstly the shield. Within this build we are using the Ember's Blade, an epic shield rewarded for the Mox's highest DLC mission, playing with fire. In my opinion a seriously underrated shield, one which in reality is perfect for any incendiary build. I'd say more so on other Vault Hunters though, Amara for instance we know has some great elemental perks within her skill trees, definitely has the best elemental builds, so there's no doubt about it. I also feel this could be quite decent on moles too. This shield offering 64% resistance to incendiary damage, but it also offers the following benefits. Deals 1115 incendiary damage to nearby enemies every second, and on shield break, triggers a 5205 damage nova, which is seriously effective people. The class mod I am using is my beautiful scene dead class mod, offering 5 points to Donny Brook. This is a must for Zane builds now, it just makes them so much more powerful. Artifact I am using is Unleash the Dragon, which is obtained from Owl Dragon Jr. located within Jacob's estate on Eden 6. This artifact is the ultimate incendiary build item. Melee hits ignite enemies, sliding into them or near them ignites enemies, and slamming ignites enemies 100% of the time. You also get a plus 16% incendiary damage and a plus 29% resistance to incendiary, which is pretty cool. So it's quite the artifact for incendiary builds. Grenade we are using the rain firestorm, this grenade although won't be thrown will come into play quite often. This I guess could be substituted for any other incendiary grenade, 
that's completely up to you. I just love the rain firestorm. And it looks so great amongst the battle when it's just raining and firestorms upon them enemies. So let's move on to the skill true build starting with Sentinel. 5 points into violent speed and violent momentum. This build is all about moving so keep moving and keep damaging. We then have drone delivery selected. 1 point of grenades coming into play. With 3 points into salvation, death follows close selected and 5 points into violent violence. And then we have 2 points into good misfortune. As you may know, Good Misfortune paired with the Seeing Dead class mod basically allows you to keep your action skills active indefinitely as long as there are enemies in front of you to shoot. So on to the Digiclone, 5 points into Synchronicity, 3 points into Donnybrook and 3 points into Duct Tape Mud. Another instance where those grenades come into play and it's quite often people. So on to the Barrier and we have 5 points within Adrenaline, 4 points into Ready for Action and 5 points into Brain Freeze. And then having Confident Competence selected. Action skills we are using Sentinel with Boomsday and Static Field, with Barrier using Retaliation and All Rounder. Weapons can vary in reality, that's completely up to the user. I've gone with weapons I know will add to this build. I will state though the Face Puncher takes advantage of the melee's Ignite enemies which is part of the artifact, so every enemy you shoot with the Face Puncher ignites them which is pretty cool. I will state the only issue I was kinda having playing the Slaughter Shaft and running around on the handsome jackpot was armoured enemy. So if you have room for any weapon effective against armour within your loadout, that's probably the one thing this is missing. But other than that, it just shreds absolutely everything. So all in all, it's a great incendiary zane build right here. With a few adjustments to said weapons, it's simply effective within every field. I use this within Mayhem 4, and as always with my builds, everything is just so easy. Bring on Mayhem 5, I say. Big shout out to my Power Rangers Mad69 for some of the items featured today within this build, so a massive credit to him. But yeah guys, I do have a few more builds to come with Zane. Some truly unique, taking advantage of certain instances, while others are based around elemental damage output. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. I will leave you guys to watch what this build is capable of. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Literally. Oh! <laughs>